G'day guys, Skip here. Just an update video of my case annealer. This is the final version I'm happy with. Um, just built this this afternoon. It took me about four hours all up from start to finish. Um, I've still got to build the back plate, which I'm going to bend up some uh, sheet metal so I can mount the digital readouts and stuff. But um, this is pretty much it. Um, I'll show you the back shortly, but I'll just turn it on so you can see. I haven't set it up properly yet, so the speeds might be a little bit out. Anyway, I'll flick it on. So as you can see, they've got the digital readout and turn pots. This brass is all just junk, so it can go on the floor, I don't really care. So that's pretty much it. Um, that one's set up for say 308, 223, 6.5 or 47, all the small cases. And I'm going to have another one here. This is the um, this is the one for 223, and all the rest use that that um, case feeder tube, whatever you want to call it. Um, See so yeah, that one. That one's just for 223 only. That's just for my big cases, say like 300 wind mag, 303, and I've still got to drill out. I've still got to drill out this and cut the rim off for the larger cases. But so I'll, I'll just turn it around for you, so you can have a look at the uh, at the back. It's pretty messy at the back, but um, I'll clean it all up later. But that's pretty much it. Just a 12 volt power supply, uh, two 25 RPM 12 volt motors, and the two speed controllers. Uh, the cost for the build uh, for this is uh, sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars for both of them. Sixteen dollars for the two uh, digital readouts, and they all come from China. Six dollars for the MDF, and a couple of bucks for the nuts and bolts, and a few hours of my time. that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna not have any more update videos because this is my final build for it with the digital readouts and everything I originally was gonna put the digital readouts here but then I went against it because it was just gonna be too too much of a pain in the ass and a bit of a tight squeeze so I'm gonna have the digital readouts up the top facing down so they look something like this with the controllers the turn pot controller and the on off switch but um, yeah I thought I'd just show you what I did this afternoon and you know for say around 50-60 bucks you can build your own case annealer Alright, 
I'll leave it at that. Cheers for watching. Skip out.